Hey guys, I'm gonna show some pickups I did at the Magic Origins pre-release. And the pickups were kind of fun. I had a lot of fun doing uh, trading and stuff like that. So four Wild Nakados, and I'll talk a little bit about why I picked them up. I just wanted these because I needed a playset. So I already had a playset, but then I traded away and now I got it back. So good for me, right? I guess I'll put it like right here. Uh, scavenging Ooze, a playset of regular ones and a playset of foils. These are like five or six dollars right now. Seems low to me. I don't have any problems. I think I purchased them at like four dollars. A Sacred Foundry, but the Sacred Foundry is part of a, oh. Battlefield Forge. Oh, here's uh, some more, um, I was wondering where these went, like some more Magic Origins packs. Okay, so here's the Sacred Foundries. I don't know why they're separated from each other. And there's one more Sacred Foundry somewhere. Um, oh, so these are magic cards too, huh? Weird. I guess these are more cards that I didn't go over. So Sacred Foundry, uh, Foil Voice. Uh, Voice, I'm a big, big fan of. It has jumped in price recently. This used to be about $60. Now it is a lot more than that. So it's nice. Vendillion Click. Uh, I love this artwork. I am gonna to try to get this new artwork as a playset. Flooded Strand, I mean, not much to say about this. Dragon Lord or Drute, I need about, I need one more foil one to be totally fo foiled out of that card. Voice, 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 voice. Um, again, voice has picked up some steam. So he used to be 17 or $15 or even like 12 bucks, I remember. And now he's at 22, I believe. So it's a good pickup. These are just, you know, regular lands. I don't know why, how they got here because they are from Magic Origins. Uh, Mastery, why not? Aristocrat, why not? Narset, so, okay, there's my second. There's my fourth um, Sacred Foundry. And Narset is a good card. I mean, it's $10 right now. It fell from $40 to $10, but I like her and I will probably do a speculation video on her. I like her a lot and for $10. Like I didn't like her at $40, but at $10, hey, maybe it's time to get my foil one back. Edelion of the Revels, a good time to pick him up. I don't feel like this card is going to tank at all. Everyone knows it's good. And the red decks have been doing extremely good in modern right now. Mutavol, Mutavol is Mutavol. There's not much I need to say about Mutavol except it is one of the best lands you can get. So these cards actually are cards I hunt master. We're talking about 18 hunt masters, and I don't know how I got so many of them. Um, it's a mystery to me, like how I have 18 hunt masters. But hey, 18 hunt masters. What can you do, right? That's 18 of them. And a second Vidalian click, which is more expensive, so I traded into, I traded out of a playset, and then I traded, I felt like, okay, whatever, I just need, I like both artworks very much. Uh, Dragon Lord Dromoka, Kilinos, this card is going to be very relevant in modern, or legacy, I don't know, it's played in something. Jace, uh, Liliana of Dark Realms, very beautiful card. Sarkhan, it's $5 now. Nissa. And Stoke the Flames, um, just as a throw in, because I do need one more Stoke the Flames. So the deck is, I mean, the trading I did was pretty fun. I always have a good time trading. There's not much I need to say about that other than, yeah, I mean, it's a good time. So anyway, bye guys.